A bill titled, To Require Prompt Reporting of Any Incident in Which the Armed Forces Are Involved in an Attack or Hostilities, and for Other Purposes, was introduced by Arizona Rep. Ruben Gallego on December 13, 2024. This bill will require the President of the United States to report any incident where the United States Armed Forces are involved in an attack or hostile interaction within 48 hours of it occurring, regardless of offense or defense, to Congressional Defense Committees and the Committee of Foreign Affairs and Relations of the House of Representatives and Senate. This report will not be made if the President reports the incident within 48 hours in accordance with United States Code Title 50, Section 1543, which has much of the same report criteria as will be provided in this bill. The President can also determine, before the incident takes place, that the incident in question will be in line with legal and policy frameworks outlined in United States Code Title 50, Section 1549, and is operating under proper authority of congressional direction as outlined in United States Code Title 50, Section 1544. The details of these two United States codes are very distinct, but not necessarily important for understanding this bill. It should just be noted that the President has avenues available to refrain from creating this report and that details of the requested report are also being tracked and reported elsewhere. The report described in this bill will contain all of the following information. Who gave the armed forces permission to be in the area the incident took place? Details about the incident including date, location, and duration. Information about the mission that was being executed and what sections of the armed forces were involved. Total number of casualties resulting from the incident. Anything else the President sees fit to be included. Primary impact. The members of the United States will have more accessible information regarding any hostilities the United States forces are involved in. This will be filtered through the Congress, but it at least it will be presented in a more public format. Secondary impact. With avenues available for the President to not perform this report, as stated earlier, there are still opportunities for foreign incidents to go unrecognized by the people. Tertiary impact. Adversaries will use every piece of information they can get to put together a comprehensive overview of government workings. The multitude of reports and the different details they provide are more puzzle pieces available to them, albeit small ones.